and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Sultai Control. So we've been playing Sultai Amnesia a little bit, especially the last time that we played Sultai Amnesia. It's really impressed with like Tamiyo getting back uh, some of the Sultai spells and like Assassin's Trophy and Casualties of War, um, blowing up a bunch of lands and getting those back and everything. And so I've been kind of putting together another Sultai deck without the Amnesia package, without the Golgari Queen and Induced Amnesia. And a deck that's focused on uh, it's really gr out grinding other decks and have it kind of tuned here for the most part against, uh, you know, like with Esper in mind, um, for example, with, with like Duress, Elder Spell, Main. You know, we do have Cries and Ritual of Sets that we may need to board out in those matchups. But um, yeah, I've been really, really happy with this deck. Like Tamiyo is just an awesome engine card, uh, you know, getting you a lot of cards from, you know, like the tick up ability sometimes gets you that, but that minus three, just whatever you need you know like whenever you have all these different spells in your graveyard whichever one is the one that you need you minus three and grab it it is awesome narset digs pretty deep as well we've got a bunch of narsets in here also and yeah trophy is just is just really good you know blow up lands go rebuy go get your trophy back blow up some more lands it is awesome um we have kefnet and jace that they could put the games away um but that's what I got over here. I got, uh, so sideboard wise, you know, as you can see, we have three Enter the God Eternals, three Moment of Cravings. You know, we need those against like red. Uh, that's our plan against red there. Um, Unmoored Ego with a Tamiyo is pretty nice too. You know, if you can get to like the later game where you can Unmoored Ego away like Big Teferi and then you, you know, have have a Tamiyo rebuy your Unmoored Ego and then you take, uh, you know, like if they're playing Command the Dread Horde, you take Command the Dread Hordes and, um, you know, then you, you take whatever other card they have, Basilical Bell Haunts, that, you know, you just kind of strip your opponent of, like, their win conditions. And, you know, like, whenever you cast the first one, you can see what their deck is. So the, while the first Unmoored Ego isn't very good, but casting the second, the third, the fourth, they just don't have a library, cards in the library anymore. Same kind of thing with Ashiok. You can mill your opponents out with Ashiok, rebuy your Ashiok with Tamiyo, mill your opponents out with it. Um... I got Obnixilus Cruelties in here because of the Phoenixes, Rekindling, and Arclight. Um, you know, it's mostly for Gruul is like the biggest matchup that, you know, Gruul's a pretty big deck, and so that's why I got these Obnixilus Cruelties in here for the Gruul matchup. Uh, I wanted it, I like Contempt kind of more, but as you see here, my four mana slot is really full, so I, I wanted a three mana card there. Um, so yeah, that's that's our deck. Let's give it a try. I'm going to go ahead and, and play over in Mythic with the deck. Where are we at? We're at number 53. Does Tamiyo have a... Tamiyo doesn't have a thing. Let's be Tezzeret. I take what I need. Tezzeret's blue-black. Um, I don't... So usually I play like five matches in Mythic. But I think I'm, I'm just going to be playing three here tonight. It's a little later. This deck also should be grinding and play some longer matches. So I'm probably just going to play three matches uh, for this. Yeah, core sets usually have five rare lands, five rare duels. So if there's like a, you know, so if there's supposed to be a set of, of ten, that usually goes into different, two different sets. Usually five rare lands a set. So any sideboard recommendations for four drakes against Esper? Um, I mean, maybe Immortal Sun? I know they have answers for Immortal Sun and everything. Oh, I look forward to seeing I bow yeah, Narset's a good one. Yeah. All right, so just going to ignore the Domri. It gives them more mana, but they're going to have just a whole lot of mana. Just going to get rid of these things that are dealing me a lot of damage. You've 
you've already lost. You just let's think this through. All right, milling ourselves, of course, to uh, help this as Kanta flip. Ah, this one, this isn't over until we figure out a solution. Yeah, we won't answer to other guilds. <laughs> hmm. So we're going to have Tamio grab trophy. Yeah, no hide is a little rough. Let's play. Let's play the Narset first. I have just the trick for this. Oh, okay, good. We do have two, two black. Okay. All right, that's fine. Get the elf. Trade with the elf plus gains. You know, if they. At least that six damage not coming to me. I shall miss your company. Like the phases of the moon, life waxes and wanes. I have learned much from my ancestors. <laughs> Yeah, this this is gonna be a tough matchup. Their deck seems pretty well designed to to fight mine so far. <laughs> I was raised by wolves, so they might have also just been big dogs. Hmm. Why do they have it to have a second null hide here? Yep, that's that's game. I don't have I don't have anything I can hit. Like if I, you know, so I could take up Tamio. No, nah, I'm dead. Yeah, destroy destroying one one Ferox doesn't save me. I can destroy one Ferox, you know, like casualties can destroy the Domri of Ferox. And that it's like I was good until the second Ferox. I can't. I have nothing I can can do against two of them. Yeah, Ferox matches up really, really well against what I'm doing. Guess I'm gonna try these Enter the God Eternals, I guess. If we have like if we get like two Enter the God Eternals. And we can make an 8-8. Eight eight, that'd be nice. <laughs> Just thought erasure the Ferox away. Good call, good call. I should have done that. Like, how good is Cry the Cranium and Ritual set? Like, do I want Moment Craving? Maybe I want Moment over Cry.
yeah, Ferox and, and that that Reality Smasher Dinosaur, those match up quite well against my removal spells. Yeah, I'm not I'm not playing white that I have hard removal spells. Mm. Well, Cry the Carnarium is looking really good right now. I mean, I have I have Trophy and Casualties of War. Like those are my hard removal spells. You think I'm a crazy beast? Where do you see my mates? <laughs> How about it, boys? I've got them all figured out. It's a matter of give and take. But where's my ritual of set? I have war boss. And I definitely sideboard bad. I need all my cry the carnariums and sets. I know that all these mana creatures and war bosses. Bleh, bad sideboarding. Momentary set. I wish you could see your face while I'm beating you. Just hopefully they don't have a big creature. Casualties of War or Enter the God Eternals? Any skirmish you can walk away from, right? Enter the God Eternals gives me life, but this... You know, taking away three mana sources from them... Should hurt them quite a bit. I'm going to want this extra mana with those Kanta next turn. If I draw a land next turn, I can Tamiyo. You know, I flip as Kanta, I can Tamiyo, grab, get back, enter the God Eternals. And cast enter the God Eternals. Shockland. Go to seven. Story battle worth retelling. The past is never forgotten. Look 
Forgive me. No haste, no haste. Okay, good. It's not a haste creature. I can block that thing with an 8-8. Alright, what have we had so far? We have all the casualties of war. It's only been one Narset so far. And one Tamiyo. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Man, this is crazy close game. All right, and that should be where we pull ahead. There we go. Good job, I'm Nexus Cruelty. Alright, if we bring in more cries and soots, I guess I'm gonna cut erasure. Probably need an elder spell. If they're playing they're still playing Domri and they have Nissa also. So I want an elder spell? I don't really want an elder spell. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we can afford all these cries and soots. Soot is really good against like the Nissa lands, and if they have, yeah, you know, assuming they have like Spellbreaker. But I don't think we can we can't have all those slots though. Just can't afford all those slots. Yeah, I like taking a Narset out here on the draw. No, Dispersal can handle Mulhide and everything. Okay. Let's give this a give this a try. The big the biggest reason the biggest thing against Cry and Force uh, to, is Gruel Spellbreaker. I guess two biggest things. Gruel Spellbreaker and Nissa. Please, no null hide. Okay. Not null hide. Why, why can Dispersal not handle null hide? Oh, right, because I mean, they just discard it and it comes back. Never mind. Yeah, good call. I was thinking of just like the clear part. But yeah, I guess it doesn't really help too much against the... The whole like coming back part.
Dang, four good spells. One to mill over lands, not not good spells. Now we're gonna just draw like four lands in a row. Oh, perfect. Every story is an opportunity for new data. Hmm. So I can grab the Thought Erasure and Thought Erasure them now. But they do have a lot of cards. I could just grab the Ascanta so that I can flip that and start getting cards from Ascanta. I'm going to do that. I follow the tracks of the wise. We're going to need to keep the keep the gasoline coming. Our time together is finished. They, they have to have more than... Hey, Sway! Yeah, we can play some Jund Dumpster Fire tomorrow. Oh, I have, I've had this... Oh my gosh, I've had that down there the whole time. Why she'll tell me? We will prevail. Rise, my elemental friend. Anyway, they have to have more than one basic mountain, right? Like, they, they still grabbed basic mountain off the trophy. Um, they have to have more, more than one basic mountain, I would think, because they kept on grabbing forests. Four lands. Alright, so three trophies and one casualties of war are gone. All right, I do not I do not want to mill over another casualties of war trophy. So I'm not going to mill myself here. I don't want to risk it. So I'm going to mill them. Yes, yeah, so they won't draw another card each turn cuz of Narset, but these things are still big. All right, we need to find casualties of war. That's our card. There's two I more of them. My limit. Yeah, let's find casualties of war. Uh I cannot activate Tamiyo. Really glad we grabbed the Ascanta before. We would be in so much trouble if we didn't grab that Ascanta. I mean, I guess I, I would have grabbed Thought Erasure and probably taken the Sun, though. Jeez. Why are these things so big? Is that, is that game? Nope, not quite. And the thing has hexproof during their turn. Charging Monster Sword is really strong. It's really underrated.
Immortal Sun. Get me. That Immortal Sun got me so good. I, I couldn't find a trophy or casualties of war for it. All right, 0-1. That was a close one. I thought we—I really thought that we were going to be winning that until that Immortal Sun hit. I guess I don't know. I guess I should have got us thought Razor. No, I don't. I don't like Edicts these days. I mean, I don't think they're positioned very well. All right, draw land. Yeah. Boo. Those who cannot proceed with thoughtfulness before action. All right, digging for ritual set. My mind needs a rest. This canto will like help us say land drops. It's also crucial. So obviously we need a fourth land before we can cast ritual set. All right, we need one of our top two cards to be set. Nope. GG. Wow, Growth Walker. Pretty good. All right, let's get the fourth set in there. Let's get these Ashioks. As well. Um. Hmm. exactly what I want to do here taking out wise everything is is pretty good yeah command the dread horde is the scariest card for sure and I honestly may need ego for command which if I play ego that means I cut duress cry the carnarium we don't need there we go all right let's go with this Yeah, yeah, this looks fine. Yeah, you can name. You, yep, you can name lands with unworn ego. Yeah, you can only you can only take four copies out of your opponent's deck, but yeah, you can name a land with it and take four land. You know, four of whatever land out of their deck. It is an option. But yeah, against like mono, you know, mono red, you can't just name mountain and take all of the mountains. Out of their deck. Oh, 
How many basic forests do you think they're playing? Nah, they had more green mana. Where is our lands? My prowess, hone your prowess. Jeez. No land drops? I think it's either Thought Erasure or Ashiok. I'll take Thought Erasure. They have four basic lands. Man, yeah, that's a lot. I guess because of Tamiyo, yeah, I guess I should have taken Ashio because, like, Tamiyo means I can't. Thought Razor, they would have just played a Tamiyo there. Please draw land. I must train harder. Oh my gosh. We just had. We just had the Narset hit no lands. That first land was really far down. I do need another green source for Casualties of War, but I'm still just going to keep the, the Watery Grave. Alright, down to two. But we can destroy everything. The Thought Erasure for the Tamiyo uh, was, was good. Yeah, sit. I mean, that was. We need that sit to stay alive, but it. Yeah. It needed to be a turn earlier. The ties that bind us. The land shall come for you. It really needed to be a turn earlier. I mean, our, you know, we kept a three lander. Our fourth land was, what, like nine, like nine cards down? It was not close to the top. We kept three lander Ritual of Soot. We couldn't play it. Ugh. All right, well, not, not necessarily a great showing for uh, my deck so far. I mean, I I still like this. Yeah, <clears throat> good chance I should be playing 26 lands. That's something I was thinking about even before this. So, yeah, I'm thinking, I think 26 lands could be the thing. All right, Kefnet's going to be my key card here. Let's take the Thought Erasure. And cast another one of these. Look for blue mana. It's not blue mana. Yeah, so all the temples are back in standard. I'm glad for that. I like the temples.
If I if I knew for sure I was gonna be able to play the Kefnet the next turn, I may have taken the Thought Erasure. But yeah, it looks it looks like I need another land in this deck. Maybe one of those two duresses in the main to be a twenty sixth land. Probably have a basic island as well. No, just the swamp. Do they draw basic island? In my image. Another time, planeswalker. I will return. <laughs> you have no weakness I cannot exploit. Need a Temio. Yeah, I'm jealous. Wish I could have played my Kefnet earlier. Oh, they sur oh they surveilled the island in the graveyard. Okay, so they did have the the island there. All right, 26 land needed. Just just keep on getting stuck on lands over and over and over and over again. Need another land in here. So we have five cards we definitely just don't want with the Soots and the Cries. So I... You know, I'm gonna play Duress, I'm gonna play Ashiok. And... I mean, Cruelty does... get rid of the creatures. I'll play one Cruelty... and another Elder Spell. I mean, I could try Ego and take to be able to take Dragon God. And, like, you know, Grixis doesn't play very many win conditions, Dragon God being the main one. All right, actually, yeah, I'll, I'll play Enter the God Eternals instead of instead of uh, Cruelty, even though Enter the God Eternals doesn't kill Kefnet. But if we can kill kill Kefnet another way, and it gets talked to, you know, we can we can mill it over. I guess we already have the Ashioks that mill it over, though. Hmm. Maybe I should go on Cruelty. Oh well. Hey, T. Brock, doing good. And John from Guatemala, welcome. All right, we got four lands. It's the only thing our hand was missing last game.
Do you think we will use white ley line and sideboards at all? Maybe a little bit. Not necessarily a ton. That's unfortunate for us. But I, I don't think the white ley line will see a ton of play. I mean, it really depends on how big mono red is and or how bad your mono red matchup is. I'm going to be shocking in with the Breeding Pool here to play the Jace next turn. Because uh, I'd rather discard Island to Nicol Bolas than, um, than Breeding Pool. Oh, we have the Hint to an Harbor, so we'll just play this. Because uh, Casualties of War does need double green. This... You know what, with me having trophy, maybe I can like mill over their their basic swamp. Doesn't seem too likely, but There's always an answer. Yeah, get a black source out of there. I mean, I could just trophy the watery grave to replace a watery grave with a swamp, but that doesn't seem too useful. All right, well, this time our opponent got stuck on three lands. That was us last game. That was them this game. Fun, fun. Keep it the same. I'll just keep it the same. I'll, I'll keep the end of the, the God Eternals in. Over Cruelty. I don't love either one. I don't really want... I don't think I want 4th Elder Spell in this matchup. I mean, honestly, Ego for Dragon God may be the, may be the thing I should be doing, because Nicol Bolas Dragon God is just that, power, just that powerful. Because how I'm playing a lot of discard, they're playing a lot of discard. We're going to not, like, neither of us are going to have very many resources. So, like, Nicol Bolas' tick up of, like, making me exile a resource is really, really strong in this matchup. Correct. Yeah, no, no basic mountains for Grixis. So, yeah, I guess I could have got rid of the, the red. They have, they have one swamp, one island. No, I don't think Green Ley Line is good enough to play in standard. Like even the Ram decks now. Um. So I don't have blue right now. Uh, gross. All right, so Elder Spell gone.
So they could play Liliana this next turn. Should not be ideal. Dueling you will be excellent research. Let me aid your research. All right, all right. <clears throat> so if they play Liliana, oh no, that's that's the worst case scenario. That was worst case scenario. The past, present, I have just the trick for Yay, this. more Tamiyo. Maybe you should have just named Tamiyo with the first Tamiyo. I don't I don't have ego in the deck. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's an important one. That's like my whole deck. I have learned little here. Meditate and prepare. Um, this is going to be pretty tough to win now, to be honest. I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. <laughs> okay. Rise. Okay, Kefnet. <laughs> How disappointing. Keep an open mind. All right, gonna grab a backup Narset. They can go find more spells. Ugh. Mortality suits me well. Yes, go back to my library, please. I won't forget our time together. So the, the reason why I didn't I didn't casualties of war last turn is because they get to draw a card with their Liliana in play. They would they would draw a card. I didn't really want them to draw the card, and I wanted to save the creature removal for Nickel Bowls too, if possible. I would target a land. Um, let's get one of the black sources. My schemes have been foiled. Not a good, yeah, not very good that I grabbed that Narset right now because I don't really want to minus. Have another one? All right, well, we'll shuffle it back up. I was definitely considering doing this to them. <laughs> cool, I'm glad you're liking the Mono White Angel deck.
resist against men. Put thoughtfulness before action. I don't have... Don't have much left in my deck without Narsets and Tamios. That's really what my, my deck is built around is Narsets and Tamios. Hmm. Well, I can't... I can't really discover E with Narset in play. So I guess I'll just Dispersal and get rid of one of them. It's basically just Thought Erasuring the one in their hand, I guess. I don't know, I guess it's, it's just like, My no, that's just like a bedevil, bedeviling like the one in play. Yeah, Narset's a powerhouse. Yeah, both Narset and Nicol Bolas are both huge, huge threats that kill us. If I don't, I took the Nicol Bolas because like maybe they just find like I was hoping that maybe they would just see removal spells with Narset and not you know other Bolas. But like if I don't draw a removal spell for their four four, which I don't have very many removal spells for the four four, so it's not it's not wasn't super likely, wasn't very likely at all. The four four flips into the other Nicol Bolas, which gets back. Uh, this Nicol Bolas, and I'm just, like, you know, really dead. Kind of like how we are now. Because I already had, like, three trophies gone. Well, this wasn't a good... <clears throat> this wasn't a good showing, these three games. These three matches for my deck. I played two matches before stream and won them both, and the deck felt really good, and I was excited to play it, but not a good showing here for these ones. So, 0-3. Oh um... Definitely, definitely felt like we needed the 26th land. Um, which I guess would be... Would it be pool or harbor? But I want a 12th shock. I think it's over the second cry. And I think I would want Harbor. Yeah. All right, well, I'll keep working on the deck. Um, yeah, I still still like the deck very, you know, a whole lot. Like, Narset and Tamiyo are awesome. You know, obviously, when they get on more Digo away, uh, then I, I didn't really have very much after that. But I like the deck. Like, with this, with this metagame, with there being so much Esper in the metagame, that's what this deck is built to fight, and I like it quite a bit. Um, no, I don't really want more calf nets. The two's fine. Tamio, you know, helps you dig, gets a gets them back. You know, calf nets hard to hard to kill. It, it keeps coming back and stuff. Two's fine. I don't think you really need a third there. Um, could have could have some carnage sirens in here also, like maybe sideboard wise. I don't know. I, I like all the cards we have in here, honestly. Just game, some games just didn't work out for us, you know, with the the mana troubles and um, 
and uh, you know the, the Grixis match was all just top deck war. You know who top decks better? You know, like with that, with like us discarding back and forth, and our opponent did. Um, I don't really want Liliana or Ugin. I don't think I want like the six mana Planeswalkers with having casualties of war. That's kind of my six mana Planeswalker that I get to rebuy with Tamiyo. But I mean, you know, we can't. We'd have to be taking out casualties of war to fit in either of those. And I think I think Ugin's a lot better than than Liliana these days with everybody playing planeswalkers, how Ugin kills planeswalkers. Ugin would be the like I'd rather have Ugin than than Liliana. Yeah, there could be a crisis. The crisis, like maybe the discovery could be a crisis. I, I don't love the discovery, but I wanted something to do something else to do turn two kind of proactively or something to, to hit land drops, you know, kind of thing. Um so yeah, maybe the discovery could just be a crisis. It's not. It's not. It doesn't just hit land drops. Um, but yeah, crisis is fine. Crisis, you know, you don't get from Narset, but you know, neither do you for for Kefnet. Maybe the discovery could be a Ugin. Maybe play one Ugin there. Yeah, but exactly, you don't want to have lots of six drops. Um, I don't know. Keep working. I think this. I mean, yeah, sure, we lost all three matches, but, um, you know, the Gruul deck, I, I thought I thought we had the, the Gruul deck until that Unmoored Ego, or sorry, sorry, the uh, the Immortal Sun. Yeah, I thought we had that till Immortal Sun. The Grixis match, I thought we, we were going to win that game three until, like, the Ego took away my, my Tamiyo, and then I thought we were winning that one, to be honest. Um, and again, Sultai just got stuck on lands both games, and I couldn't, you know, we needed a ritual set of turn earlier. Otherwise, we would have won that if we could have just f found the land. We couldn't. Um, yeah, just didn't draw well. That's, that's magic. All right. Uh, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Even though I, I didn't do, you know, even though I didn't put up any wins here, I think this is a solid deck and something a little different if you like grinding uh, through some matches. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes. Um, but. Please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But thanks for watching Soul Control, and I will see you for another video.